Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to do our micro me Photoshop assignment. So you're gonna need two photos, one of you and another one of an object. And you're gonna shrink yourself down so that you fit with that object and it's gonna make it look like you got shrunk. So I took two photos I have memo here. I took the picture above so it fits with what I'm planning. And where that table is, that's where I'm gonna put his phone. So his phone's gonna be the object that I'm gonna put him with. Hopefully this works out. Let's see if, it, if I can try it. So I've got my two photos, they're in my photos. Open up Photoshop, create new on the bottom left hand. I'll do letter and I'm gonna want it sideways because I think this is gonna work out better sideways. I'm gonna go create, boom. Remember, two fingers out, two fingers in, you can see everything. Uh, up here in the upper right hand corner, we've got our layers. I'm gonna add two layers, new layer, that's where the phone will be. And then another new layer, that's where memo will be. Then let me go ahead and get those photos. So I'll go here into photos. You notice on the left side, the blue underneath the letter T is where I got my things. So I'll drop in memo, probably shrink them down kind of a little bit. I'm gonna probably have them here, done. And this might take a little work. You might have to drop in um, the photo a couple of different times. And then another photo, this time I need the phone. And this one, I'll probably make it bigger. Oh, that actually works pretty good right here. Actually, you know what? I'll put the phone in the back. I'll stretch it out even though it distorts it. Done, there's the photo. I'll put memo on top. And then what is really helpful, if you just hold your finger, you can put him on top, is you can get the eraser this is what you're mostly gonna be using. And just to erase, notice I'm on the layer. I'm on the layer that has his uh, picture. Oh, I think I need to go down. Huh. Somehow I got like an extra layer on there. Okay, oh, it's a hidden target layer, whatever that means. Let me just erase, because I'm gonna erase most of the photo. I'm gonna zoom in. This is a pretty easy assignment, actually. You're just taking two photos and we're merging them into one. Now what's a good idea is use a big, whoops, go back, use the, a big eraser, you can put your eraser, and up here where it says 113, you can make it smaller or bigger. But this is working good for me, so I'll use this. I'll do all the big erasing to get rid of it. That'll make it faster this way. But then, when I really want to get in there, I'll use a small setting for it. And do me a favor, at some point, Go to this one, turn it off so we can see what, whoops. What, uh, what we need. So I'm gonna turn it off, go up here to this top one, and I can see these little chips or chunks or whatever. So I'm zooming in, getting this as close as I can. Okay, this is looking good. Woo, I got really close there. All right. Now, I can really set it small. Okay, this should work good. I'm gonna zoom in so I can really see what I'm doing. 
Probably need to go a little smaller. Okay, cool. This will work. Saw him erasing right around the edge of his head. And... This will work. And then once you have everything erased, we can see about adjusting it to work with, whoops, didn't mean to do that. The other thing, so let me go over here on this arm. Okay. It usually works out better to clean up the edge by the person first. And then you can be really fast and you don't have to be so worried about messing anything up. Just getting this other stuff. All right, so I'm getting all the other stuff. Almost there. So far, so good. Thanks for being patient. You can fast forward if you're like, this is taking too long, Mr. G. I just wanna see what it looks like when you're done. So you can fast forward if you want. If you're in it for any nuggets of wisdom that I might have, then go for it. Listen in. Following along here. I'm trying to get all the edge. Okay, and like I said, If you get in close to the body, it makes it easier to get the other stuff quick. Almost there, almost there. Couple more strokes and we'll be there. Then it'll just be a matter of making it fit and work with the phone. And uh, it might take a couple attempts because at some point you might need another photo if the photo doesn't work right. Or you might need to adjust the lighting even more. Okay. What's still... Oh, this kind of bugs me right here, his hair. Okay, let me zoom in here. I think I might need to set the pencil even smaller here. Okay. You know, and as I think about it too, I'm just like not that wild about The phone picture, the phone picture, I think, needs some help. I mm, almost feel like I erased too much on his pants. I'm going to just take a black brush. Add a little bit. Looks a little weird, but I don't care. All right, let me get the eraser again. You're right in here. Nice. Feels like the thing's going kind of slow for my taste. All right, zoom in so 
so I can see better. Erase, erase, erase. Seems a little slow today. I'm gonna increase the eraser just to go a little faster because this is boring. What was that undo? What what happened? accident. Jeez, come on. Okay, just one last little bit. Okay, oh man, still another little nugget. Whoa, I'm doing a pretty good job here. Okay, yay, I think I'm finally there. Sorry, this took a while. Zoom out, looks like it's just memo. Now let's take a look and see if that, whoa. Hey now. And uh, I think I'll resize them a little bit. If you need to resize, whoops, I went out of my thing. If you need to resize, right under this arrow, this thing, Right here, it'll let you resize. You'll notice it put a box around it with the uh, things. So if you grab the corners, you can make them bigger and smaller. I think that's a good size. Hit done in the upper right hand corner. Wow, I think this is actually looking good. Now you may, see how there's a shadow under that phone? It looks kind of weird that he doesn't have any shadows. So I'm gonna add a layer, right? And I'm gonna put that layer in between him and the phone. And check this out. I'm gonna take the brush and uh, you can uh, set the opacity of a layer right there. I don't know if you saw that. Hardness. Flow. Wait, how did I do that? But either way, you can uh, set the opacity. Okay, and I want to use black. And right here underneath him, that's too black. Undo that. Plus I need it to be bigger. I probably want it to be softer. So I'll do a soft rounded brush. Oh, okay, now we're looking good. If you look, you can see I'm putting like shadow under memo. So hopefully it looks a little bit more believable. And all right, it's a couple of marks on there I don't like. Uh, great time to show you this. This is called the healing brush. Spot healing brush. If you go over it. It'll fix. Oh, and that's on the photo actually. Or maybe, oh, maybe it's on a different layer. Maybe I just didn't erase properly. Hmm, I'm trying to find out, oh, there it is. Actually, I could just erase it using the eraser. It's a couple spots I did not like. Oh, now there's something else. 
It's not there. It's not there. I'm trying the different layers. There it was. Now we're looking good. And that's pretty much it. So once you have that, you're done. So it's Memo with a ginormous iPhone.